In this video, I'm going to show you how to refer somebody to Cash App using QR code. First, open Cash App. From the main application screen, select your profile icon, which you can find in the top right hand corner of Cash App. This will open up the profile page. From here, underneath Edit Profile, you will see Invite Friends and the current amount you can earn from referrals. Select this. On this page, you will be able to share your link. We need the link and I'm going to show you how to get this now. You have the X and next to the X you can see a share icon. Tap the share icon, it looks like an arrow pointing out of a box. On this, you will have the option to copy your link, your referral link, to your clipboard of your mobile device. Select copy. Exit Cash App at this point. You will need to access a web browser because we are going to visit a website on your mobile device. I'm going to use Google Chrome. The website you need to visit next is qr.io. You can create a free account so you can start creating QR codes. Once you've signed up with a free account, select Create QR Codes. On this page, it's very important that you select the right type of code. The code you need is App, but there are quite a few options available. Select App. Once you've selected App, select Continue. Here's where there are some important things that you need to take note of. You will have a website page at the back of your QR code. You can change and edit this. It's important to do this because it will give the wrong information if you don't edit this accordingly, because you will have a template that is applied to that web page. And you don't want people thinking that you are actually referring to something else as opposed to Cash App. So with the background color of this web page, I'm going to select a green because it's Cash App. Then scrolling down, there's some more information. For example, it will give you a template name. Now is try to select Airbnb. That is not what we're using. We are using Cash App. So I'm going to write Cash App in that space right there. Once you've done this, you can actually add a logo. Now I already have the Cash App logo, so I'm going to use that in this section here by deleting the Airbnb logo, which is used there in place of what you can choose. If you don't have the logo, then make sure that you delete the logo that is placed there if it's the wrong logo. You don't want people having the wrong impression. Now I'm going to delete the description. I could also share that I have a YouTube page. So I'm going to use this opportunity to let people know that I've created this video on YouTube and they can find it. I'm going to write something like find me on YouTube and then let's give a search term which will help them to find me. Or I'll give them my YouTube handle. I'm also going to choose a file from my mobile device. This is going to be the Cash App logo that I've already downloaded and I'm going to use it in this section here, which is available in my photos library. This will enable me to edit my QR barcode and add a logo in its center. Then moving down from here, I need to enter the correct URL website. So I'm going to do that right here in the website section. I'm going to delete, delete what's already there. And then I'm going to paste my Cash App referral code link which will be saved to my clipboard of my mobile device and should be to yours too. Once I'm happy with all the information and I've checked that there is nothing that is sending you anywhere else or misleading anybody when they're visiting the web page that the QR barcode will be on so they can scan it and find their way to Cash App, I can then select continue. You can also add a logo to your, to your QR code, which I just mentioned earlier on. I'm going to do that now. To check if you have the correct logo that you've just entered into this section, you can scroll down to see what you have highlighted. There are also other options that you can find on the website right here. For example, there is a PayPal logo that you can use, Bitcoin and Scan Me. So even if you don't have a logo ready to use, you can find these that are available on this site. You can add a frame to your QR code. This will help it stand out from the web page. Once you're happy with your design, select continue. Brilliant, our QR barcode is ready, but let's get this out there so people can start scanning it now. Select download. I'm going to download as a PNG, and that will be available for me to download to my device. I can also open this straight away, and I can share directly to social media. For example, Twitter. I'm going to do this now. 
It's important to watch this video until the end so you don't miss any important information that I cover. I've hidden an inside joke somewhere in this video that you can comment in the comment section as an inside joke. I'm now going to write a tweet for this creation. Also adding a hashtag so other Cash App users can actually find this tweet. I'm going to select tweet. Great, let's show you what this looks like. Now let's show you exactly how this works and what it looks like. I have a QR barcode scanner on my mobile. I'm gonna use this to scan this QR barcode which we've just created. Now let's have a look at it on the device. Now I'm going to select open in browser. Great, and you can see that we have a background web page, a logo on the web page. It reads Cash App. We have our referral message, and you can see there is a message sending people to my YouTube page so they can learn how to create this very QR barcode today. And you know what makes this even cooler? That what you've just done, if you followed the steps and you followed along, you have just created a full web page for your referral, which you can visit on desktop and PC as well. So even if you're not scanning the QR barcode, it also comes with a URL. I've just shared that URL to my Twitter feed so I can show you the full website. Take a look at this. So we need to edit the content in this web page because there is a slight mistake with our buttons here. Now, if you're referring with these buttons, of course, if you click on them, it will send you to where it was before, the template. So of course, what was given first was Airbnb. That was the example of what we had in the template. If we go back to qr.io, we can edit the contents of our QR code. So I'm going to select this now by selecting, selecting edit content. You need to access your account that you've already signed up with. So I'm going to open this up. So of course, it's gonna give us all of the information that we could edit from beforehand. Our app links also need to be changed. So we're going to do this and what we're going to do is we're going to delete what was there previously. So once you've deleted what's in the button, so of course the Android button app and the iOS button app, you need to delete it and you need to replace it with your referral code link. Now we have already pasted it in, in the website link here. So if we go through, you will see right at the back, you will see the link for your referral code. I want you to highlight this, copy and then paste. Now at the beginning of the tutorial, this is why you watch all the way through, you would be able to do this by pasting your link initially. So select save, and you can already see that people have began to scan the code and they've began to go through for those referrals, but now we've just filled up those buttons. If we go back to that web page to double check, so we're gonna test our QR code again by clicking on the link this time, and then we're going to select one of these buttons and as you can see, you are then being sent to Cash App so you can sign up. And that is what you need to do in order to get those buttons to go to the correct place. Are you ready for the inside joke that you need to comment in the comments section? You can join in if you like. The joke is, big fish, little fish, cardboard box. I've just Cash Apped my main chick. No more bots. Have fun. Let's continue. How awesome is that. So let's give you a final finished preview here. But to give you an idea of what this looks like and what you've just created and what we've also fixed, let's have a look right here on the screen and I'll also give you an on-screen preview as well. So I'm just showing you my mobile device. I'm just gonna scroll through. We have all our text scroll. We have that little message about my YouTube channel as well. I'm going to click on the Google Play button right there. And what it's gonna do is gonna go through our referral. So it actually give people the option to choose which device they want to use. So you can select that and it will say, get the app. Our referral is already plugged into that and people can scan the QR barcode, come straight here, then also go through to their referrals. How sick is that?